Please stand up. Stand up for national anthem. As the director of the International Faculty of Engineering of the Lodz University of Technology, I have a great pleasure to open for the 30th time the Jubilee inauguration ceremony of a new academic year 2022-2023 at the International Faculty of Engineering. This year, we are celebrating the 30th anniversary of the International Faculty of Engineering. I cordially welcome on our ceremony His Magnificence, Rector of the Lodz University of Technology, Professor Krzysztof Juźwik. <clears throat> Professor Paweł Puszytek, Director General of the Foundation for the Development of the Education System Director of the Polish National Agency of the Erasmus Plus Program and the European Solidarity Corps. <clears throat> Vice Rector for Development, Professor Paweł Strumiło. <clears throat> Vice Rector for Science, Professor Łukasz Albrecht. Vice Rector for Education, Professor Andrzej Romanowski. <clears throat> Vice Rector for Student Affairs, Professor Bitot Pawłowski. <clears throat> I very warmly welcome our distinguished guests, former rectors of the Lodz University of Technology, Professor Stanisław Bielecki, Professor Sławomir Wiak, <clears throat> Professor 
and Professor Jan Kliszynski, who joins us remotely today because of personal reasons. I cordially welcome former IFE authorities, Dr. Tomasz Sariusz Wolski, former director of the International Faculty of Engineering, <laughs> and Dr. Małgorzata Miller, former vice director of the International Faculty of Engineering. Because of the fact that our ceremony includes many points, I would like you to ask for ovation after bigger groups of guests mentioned by me, okay? I will notify you when to do so. I cordially welcome representatives of faculties of the Lodz University of Technology providing education within the scheme of International Faculty of Engineering. I welcome Professor Tomasz Kubiak, Dean of the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering, Professor, <laughs> Professor Jacek Kucharski, Dean of the Faculty of Electrical, Electronic, Computer and Control Engineering, <laughs> Professor Małgorzata Iwona Szynkowska Juźwik, Dean of the Faculty of Chemistry. Professor Anna Diovksz, Dean of the Faculty of Biotechnology and Food Sciences. <laughs> Professor Adam Wojciechowski, Dean of the Faculty of Technical Physics, Information Technology and Applied Mathematics. <laughs> Professor Agnieszka Zakrzewska-Bielawska, Dean of the Faculty of Organization and Management. I cordially welcome Mr. Włodzimierz Fischak, Chancellor of the Łódź University of Technology. <laughs> we feel very privileged and we also welcome our distinguished guests who joined us remotely. ECIU Secretary General, University of Twente, Ms. Katrin Dirksen. Welcome. I'd like to welcome our distinguished guests from French Embassy, Mr. Jean-Luc Schneider, attaché for science and university cooperation from Embassy of France in Poland. Welcome. <laughs> Mr. Philippe Morisset, um, attaché for educational cooperation, French Institute in Poland. Mrs. Nadesh Slagmulder, director of the Alliance Française Wuj. Welcome. I cordially welcome Professor Wojciech Wolf, um, honorary consul of the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg in Lodz. And Mr. Jakub Thomas, representative of the honorary consul of France in Łódź. Mr. Cezary Pieczetowski, General Manager of Amazon Poland. <laughs> Mrs. Cezary Wojciechowski, General Manager of Amcor Tobacco Packaging Poland. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Paweł Adamowicz, Head of Dry Site uh, Lodge at BSH, Przemysł Gospodarstwa Domowego. Mr. Tomasz Capella, Head of Biotechnica Tomasz Capella. <laughs> Ms. Aleksandra Dożyńska Prochowska, Head of JDC Poland Fujitsu Technology Solutions. <laughs> Mr. Daniel Marciniak, Director of Forcia R&D Center. <laughs> Mrs. Kamila Szymczak, HR Business Partner Veolia Neriewicz. Professor Anita Staroń, Director of Romantic Institute, University of Łódź. Welcome. <laughs> Dr. Magdalena Koźluk, Deputy Director of Romanistics Institute, University of Łódź. Welcome. 
and Ms. Bar Barbara Kownacka Maciaszek, Vice President of Łódzkie Bardziej Francuskie Association. Welcome. I cordially welcome Vice Dean of our University Faculties, Professor Eva Rai, Vice Dean of, for Education at the Faculty of Electrical, Electronic, Computer and Control Engineering. Welcome. <laughs> Dr. Krzysztof Tomalczyk, Proxy of the Dean of the Faculty of Electrical, Electronic, Computer and Control Engineering for IFE, also responsible for our American accreditation, ABET accreditation. Welcome. <laughs> Professor Dariusz Bieliński, Vice Dean for the Development at the Faculty of Chemistry. <laughs> Professor Łukasz Szymański, Vice Dean for Science of the Faculty of Electronics and Computer Science. Professor Beata brożek puska Vice Dean for Education at the Faculty of Chemistry. <laughs> Professor Isabella Witońska, Vice Dean for Student Affairs at the Faculty of Chemistry. <laughs> Professor Edyta Kordialik-Bogacka, Vice Dean for Education at the Faculty of Biotechnology and Food Sciences. Welcome. Dr. Ilona gawonska czarnecka Vice Dean for Student Affairs at the Faculty of Biotechnology and Food Sciences. <laughs> Professor Agnieszka Wosiak, Vice Dean for Student Affairs at the Faculty of Technical Physics, Information Technology and Applied Mathematics, also responsible for ABET American accreditation. Dr. Katarzyna Boczkowska, Vice Dean for Education at the Faculty of Organization and Management. <laughs> Ms. Adriana Kuzłowska, Director of the Tools Center for Teaching and Learning. Welcome. <laughs> Mrs. Isabella Kaplan, Principal of a Public Secondary School at the Lodz University of Technology. Welcome. Professor Cesar Lapieko, Head of the Department of Materials Engineering and Production System at the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering of the Lodz University of Technology. Welcome. <clears throat> Mr. Mariusz Lewe, the contractor of the choir of the Lodz University of Technology. Welcome and thank you for your support. Last but not least, Jeremy Chapin. Lector of the FAMI project, our supporter from France, <laughs> teaching French. Welcome. Now I'd like to invite the rector of the Lodz University of Technology, Professor Krzysztof Juźlik, to deliver a short speech. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Dorota, directors, Dear professors, dear deans, dear guests, and the most important for today, dear students, especially all of you that are for the first time at our university ceremony. On behalf of the academic community of Lodz University of Technology, let me, let me welcome you warmly to our university. First of all, I would like to congratulate you on your choice. You have selected a university that is not only one of the best in Poland, but also a university that is renowned nationally in Europe as a trendsetter in many innovative areas, specifically in education, modern education modern methods used in education. You are starting your study at a very special moment. This year, in addition to the status of a TUL student, faculty student and IAV student, for the first time you are given an additional status, that of an ECIU European University student. This is a great distinction and a significant expansion of the space and opportunities for your learning. 
We have combined potentials with the best universities in the world to give you the chance to learn with the support of the best teachers from 12 countries in Europe and Mexico. We are united by such values as innovative education, focus on flexible student learning paths, openness to operate effectively across the entire environment, and building strong international relationships. As director, I am very proud that we have been able to create this new international dimension for you, especially for you, the IFE students, as this dimension will certainly become a springboard to a successful future. This time is also a set time, a time resulting in the nervous for many people, aggression of Soviet Union against Ukraine is uh, something that we do not believe that it is reality. All this creates new danger and new possibilities to be a human being. The International Faculty of Engineering is a special place. Today we are celebrating 30 years of its existence. For the past 30 years, it has been a place where innovations have always played first fiddle. The IFE is a place where learning not teaching prevails. It's a place where we want to support you in the innovative pursuit of your passions, ambitions, and development of your personalities. As I said, the IFE is a globally well-recognized brand that boasts many outstanding graduates. Two, program, two programs within the IFE, computer science and information technology, have received the prestigious American Board of Engineering and Technology Accreditation, ABIT, this year. So you're starting this year with a new possibilities that will give you new accreditation. This label is not only proof that we uh, met the highest quality criteria for American study programs. It's the confirmation that you have come to a place that never stops evolving and is always looking for opportunities to advance. And that is what I wish for you, dear students. May this extraordinary time of study be a chance for exceptional development. And remember that our role is to create opportunities for you. Here, we do our best to keep creating opportunities for students, but it's only up to you how much you will want to take advantage of all these opportunities so that in a few years' time, you will be able to say that studying at Los University of Technology and IAV was the best investment of your lives. I wish you that with all my heart. Viva Academia. Thank you very much, Your Magnificence, for your speech. Dear students, today you start your studies at the Lodge University of Technology. When we look at IFE's uh, 40th anniversary logo, many of us ask, ask ourselves how it is possible that IFE is already 30 years old. How is it possible that 30 years ago, someone came up with this idea of creating a unit that did not fit into any legal formula? A unit whose overriding aim was to build a huge window onto the world of new educational and research opportunities, both 
for the staff of the university, but first of all, for students. <clears throat> it is year 1992, and the rector of the Lodz University of Technology is Professor Jan Kresinski, and he is also assisted by the extremely experienced vice rector for internationalization, Professor, uh, Professor Janusz Turowski. At the event time, um, Professor Zenon Pudłowski comes to Poland from Australia and brings the first program, very innovative one, very based on critical thinking and problem-based learning, uh, first program of engineering studies implemented according to the Monash University concept. Monash is one of the best Australian universities. So the entire operational running of the IFE is entrusted to Dr. Tomasz Stariusz-Wolski, who is appointed director of the International Faculty of Engineering. This is how it all began. 24 students and the first program, first major, um, electromechanical engineering, very specific, very interdisciplinary program, as I said, from the very beginning, based, based on very innovative concept. The following years brought further projects and new challenges. Uh, first of all, as the first university in Poland, we implemented mobility semester. So you all know that at one moment you will go abroad. You won't have any choice, as I promised you on Monday when we met. Uh, you have to go abroad. Because this is the experience that will let you learn much more than here in which. Then, as a first university in Poland in 2000, we implemented the first diploma supplement in English, just to support your employability, not only in Poland, but also across the Europe and the world. In 2007, we moved to a new building, a building we stay now, and it was the moment we started to very much focus on the very new concept, so-called student-centered system, student-centered approach. And in 2017, we decided to implement it, uh, American model, uh, to implement American model, so-called flipped classroom, flipped education, to make your education, to make your learning process more effective. 2019, 2021, it was a very intensive period because we applied for many international accreditation, HCRS, EUA, and the last one, but I would say the most challenging one, ABET, American American. And right now, we are very much proud of all those accreditation because it is a proof that the quality of our education, the quality of our administration, the service at IFE, at the Lodz University of Technology, is the highest standard in Europe and in the world. So this year, we started our new adventure. Uh, we started new adventure as a part of, as, um, of the European University Alliance, ECIU, European Consortium of Innovative Universities a great opportunity for us, but also a big, big opportunity for you students to you know, benefit from the great potential of many prestigious universities and many distinguished professors. Okay, um, when I just you know, looked at this history uh, of IFE, 30 years of uh, um, IFE history, I was very much, you know, surprised about all those, you know, challenges they, they managed to overcome. Let us remember that it was a very, very dynamic time. Uncertainty about what tomorrow would bring, a time of specific constraints and limitations. 
And it was certainly not a time of complete knowledge and full awareness of the direction in which the IFE should be developing. Over the last few weeks, I have thought a lot about what was the driving force behind this IFE success. The answer appeared a few days ago when I had a great honor to meet distinguished Polish philosopher, Pawet Potorocin. During several hours of our discussion on contemporary challenges and how to meet them, Albert Einstein thought, imagination is more important than knowledge, came to the fore like a boomerang. And it was then I realized how right Einstein was in relation to the IFE. It takes a great deal of imagination and courage to reach for the unknown in order to create the unit such the IFE and keep it going. The unit uh, that will be strong for many years, having its international brand focus on innovation and exploring new spaces for learning as well as for development of diverse talents. Albert Einstein also said, imagination without knowledge can create beautiful things. Knowledge without imagination, at best, perfect. And today, I will say boldly, IFE is beautiful. Because it has had the great fortune to bring together the imagination of beautiful and wise visionaries. Today, here in this auditorium, we are experiencing a very extraordinary moment because almost all of the creators of IFE are here. Allow me to introduce them to you once again. As I mentioned at the beginning, the founding rector of IFE, Professor Jan Kleszynski, cannot be with us because of personal reasons. However, yes, Professor uh, Jan Kleszynski, I do hope he is with us. And I'd like on this way, remotely, thank you once again, Professor, for your, for your vision, for your mission, for your support, for your presence during all those years of IFE existence. But we have here some authorities, IFE's authorities, who supported and who also, um, well, dedicated their entire life to pursuit of a beautiful uh, IFE. So let me introduce them to you once again. Dr. Tomasz Sariusz Wolski, a longtime director, a founder director of International Faculty of Engineering. Dr. Tomasz Waliwowski, could you please stand up here? We couldn't, you know, do anything without the strong support of Lodz University of Technology authorities. So let me introduce and show you again Professor Stanisław Bielecki, former rector of the Lodz University of Technology. Here. <laughs> Professor Sławomir Wiak, former rector of the Lodz University of Technology, very supportive for IFE development. Professor Wiak, please. <clears throat> Let me introduce Dr. Małgorzata Miller, the former vice director uh, of IFE. Małgosia, please join us. Do you recognize this person on the picture? Last but not least, Professor Krzysztof Juźwik, who from the very beginning was supporting IFE idea. Yes, this is you, this is you. <laughs> so, 
So wonderful people, wonderful rectors, who always saw more and looked further and understood that IFE is not only a table or an equation. So let me thank them once again. Here they are, the real proof of Albert Einstein thesis. Dear students, yeah, I'm sorry, maybe we will help you somehow with this stuff. Yeah, it's okay. So dear students, as a director of IFE, I would like to welcome you once again to the International Faculty of Engineering. We spent almost the whole day together on Monday, you remember, all of you, I met all of you. And I'm sure you already know that it won't be easy. Studies at IFE won't be easy. However, we will do that just to let you, you know, develop this kind of imagination. We want you to create beautiful things in the future. We want you to develop knowledge and skills, but above all, we want to support the development of your imagination. So the main competences you will develop here are abstract thinking, emotional intelligence, curiosity, initiative. We promise you to do our best to give you the chance to develop your unique personalities in a dynamic and varied way. We also want you to remember that the future of the world really belongs to you. And we want you to have this courage to take responsibility for shaping it in the future. We want you to be sensitive to the world and people around you. So that is why you have a civic knowledge and engagement model for four semester. <clears throat> we want you to understand this world and its various political, social, economic phenomena and we also want you to take up all these important challenges, not necessarily related to your personal career. Remember, I told you many times on Monday, who, if not you, who will be able to solve all those you know, complex problems that are around us? Who, if not you, the best students, the best candidates? So that is why your studies at IFE won't be easy. <laughs> be happy, find fulfillment in all the pathways of your student's life. I hope that in a few years you will be looking back at the IFE and the Lodz University um, of Technology as a genuine place, place sorry, of useful learning. Lodz University of Technology 
has a great ambition to be a place of useful learning, not only for its students, but also for all learners who are not students. As our rector said, our university is strongly oriented towards building the international capacity of all people, all institutions around our university. And today, we will witness another confirmation of this mission. Lodz University of Technology will host in-hub Erasmus Plus for lifelong learning, an extraordinary center that will assist all the universities, schools, institutions, foundations, and all learners in obtaining information and projects and funds, of course, from the Erasmus Plus Fund. We are about to witness the historic moment of establishing this unit by signing the agreement which set up the center at the Lodz University of Technology. And now, I would like to invite Professor Paweł Poszytek and his magnificence, Professor Krzysztof Juźwik, to sign the act. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's amazing. Thank you very much. We are very proud to be a place like this, a place of useful learning, not only for students, but also for the larger community. Thank you so much for your trust, and thank you for letting us do it with you. Okay, now the most important moment of this inaugural ceremony. I will take the oath of students of programs taught in French and those, of course, taught in English. So not only uh, in French, but also in English. So everybody, please stand up for the oath. Students, please raise your hand, right hand and repeat after me. I solemnly pledge that I will tirelessly strive and to acquire knowledge and develop my own personality. Respect the university authorities and all members of the academic community. I will observe the university laws and recognize its customs as well as care for the dignity and honor of a student of Lodz University of Technology with my conduct. Thank you so much. You can take a seat. And now I'd like to ask the Dean of the Mechanical Faculty to conduct the matriculation uh, of mechanical engineering students and welcome your students. Don't worry. <laughs> and you can join. So we are inviting the students of mechanical yes, engineering. Yes, we will be not 
yes, if uh, okay, okay. So this year you will have um, honor and privilege to be welcomed not only by the dean but also by the his magnificence rector of the Lodz University of Technology because of his 30th anniversary, right? Yes, the unique opportunity. So let's get started with students of mechanical engineering. Both first and second cycle students, Bartosz Banaś, Filip Barski, Olivier Bartłomiejczyk, Andrzej Białowski, Wiktor Biedrzykowski, Kacper Chmielewski, Oskar Czapla, Marta Deredas, Paweł Esnekier, Andrzej i Maszał, Mikołaj Jabłoński, Tymon Jakubowski, Szymon Janowajtys, Aleksandra Kajl, Szymon Kałuża, Michał Kowalczyk, Franciszek Kuzański, Bartosz Kwiatkowski, Witold Lasoń, Wiktor Lutrzykowski, Maciej Ochal, Maciej Okła, Nikolaj Petkow, Igor Redman, Jan Stołowski, Maksymilian Stranc, Maciej Szulczewski, Jan Trzciński, Kamil Wasiak, Leon Wodzicki, Maciej Wolny, Dmytro Zaliński, Jakub Ziemba, Jakub Bobrowski, Józef Dering, Maciej Mieciński, Marcin Pisarski, Adam Roślak, Wioletta Strzałka, and Mateusz Szydłowski. And this is very, I forgot to mention, this is very unique moment because all students, after taking the off, the oath, uh, they receive uh, from the Dean of the Faculty and uh, his magnificence, Rector of the Lodge University of Technology, the pin arrow, the symbol of IFE, this is IFE logo. Let it remind you of a wonderful identity you have just acquired. Let's thank the Dean of the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering and please welcome the Dean of Electrical, Electronic, Computer and Control Engineering. Professor Jacek Kucharski. And we would like to invite Biomedical Engineering and Technology students, Jasmine Al-Yaziri, Miriam Al-Yaziri, Anna Dolińska, Piotr Grzelak, Cyprian Henzel, Natalia Jander, Julia Klimczak, Jakub Komorowski, Dominika Kotulska, Dominika Kwapisz, Kryspin Leniarski, Filip Lipiński, Maksym Lisun, Paulina Nicińska, Aleksandra Paciorek, Kajetan Pietrzak, Natalia Podsiadły, Patrycja Pociłowska, Adriana Rękiewicz, Amelia Sałek, Mateusz Straube, Monika Wagner, Julia Wilińska, Bartłomiej Wiśnik and Adam Wosiński.
And now it's time for computer science students. Fatima Zahra Bendakia, Anna Berkowska, Dorian Białkowski, Alina Budzan, Mateusz Chmielewski, Mateusz Cieśliński, Anastazja Czapkowicz, Miłosz Dałek, Jakub Dulas, Filip Pfeiffer, Wiktor Frontczak, Cindy Freestone, Mateusz Galiński, Damian Glazer, Olga Granecka, Marcin Grawiński, Julia Kaczorowska, Wiktor Kopczyński, Danilo Kosenko, Wiktor Labich, Iwana Lawruk, Kornelia Machnicka, Hanna Maraszek, Szymon Omieciński, Maciej Owczarek, Jan Pawlak, Łukasz Pelikan, Piotr Pomykalski, Julia Siger, Szymon Sudak and Magdalena Wduwik. And now students from Electronic and Telecommunication Engineering, Filip Adamczyk, Kacper Barański, Kornelia Benzel, Juliusz Błażejewski, Dawid Bogdan, Igor Ciach, Marek Darnowski, Mateusz Gajdowicz, Jakub Gogacz, Stanisław Jachimczak, Patryk Juźwiak, Jakub Krupski, Jakub Krzemiński, Marta Kusiak, Piotr Łuczak, Kacper Michalak, Paweł Miszczak, Jeremi Pająk, Szymon Pawlak, Jakub Rogowski, Patryk Rowiński, Filip Tworus, Rafał Wiśniewski, Tomasz Wiśniewski, Jakub Żaczek. Thank you, first cycle students, and now second cycle students from Computer Science and Information Technology. Monika Cięszka, Marcin Galanciak, Oleg Golowati, Michał Górski, Mateusz Jaksa, Mateusz Kiełbik, Krzysztof Kubiak, Piotr Kusztelak, Maksymilian Leder, Mateusz Skorupski, Kamil Sobczak, Mateusz Sudra, Paweł Wacławiak, and Jakub Woszczyk. Let's thank the Dean. Thank you very much, Professor Liatek Kucharski. Uh, and now we would like to invite Professor Mogorzata Iwona Szynkowska-Juźwik. 
welcome students of advanced bio-based and bio-inspired materials program. Miłosz Folten, Zofia Frankowska, Aleksander Jabłoński, Julia Jankowska, Anastazja Kucherowa, Krystyna Lechańska, Justyna Majchrowska, Patrycja Marks, Małgorzata Mrozik, Bartosz Pełczyński, Marcin Podsentkowski, Hanna Sobieszek, Ewa Sowińska and Maksym Wachiński. Thank you very much, Professor Małgorzata Iwona Szynkowska Jeźwik. And now we would like to ask Professor Anna Digiowsz to welcome students from Industrial Biotechnology Program. Julia Baczyńska, Julia Bień, Julia Chmura, Jan Czajka, Przemysław Czernik, Karolina Grzechnik, Hanna Kaczmarek, Natalia Kaźmierczak, Jagoda Kiepura, Katarzyna Kordala, Gabriela Kosińska, Anna Maciążek, Maja Mikołajczyk, Julia Mokrzycka, Maciej Molski, Maja Nastarowicz, Joanna Nowicka, Dominika Olczyk, Anna Ozimek, Bartosz Pawłowski, Aleksandra Plaskota, Hubert Rogut, Marcelina Rup, Julia Sosnowska, Antoni Szmiel, Wiktoria Trela, Aleksandra Trocińska and Maja Zakrzewska. Thank you very much, Professor Anna Diofs. And now I'd like to ask Professor Adam Wojciechowski to welcome students from Information Technology Program. And please welcome Michał Bielicki, Ekaterina Borodicz, Oleksi Budzinski, Jeremi Cichawa, Mateusz Dąbrowski, Błażej Dymek, Witold Formański, Łukasz Glik, Marcin Grzelak, Michał Hołyński, Maksym Huren, Mikołaj Janowski, Gabriela Jung, Oskar Kacprzak, Wojciech Kapica, Paulina Klewin, Natalia Kośmider, Anna Krzępek, Dawid Maciejewski, Stanisław Marciniak, Jewchen Martyn, Wojciech Mokwiński, Aleksander Moszyński, Krzysztof Muszyński, Bartosz Nowacki, Emilia Nowosielecka, Zuzanna Pająk, Tymoteusz Piwowarski, Weronika Przybył, Wiktor Rudnicki, Karol Sobański, Maciej Strzelecki, Wiktoria Świder, Michał Wawszko, Izabela Wochna, Mikołaj Wojciechowski and Wojciech Wojcieszek.
Thank you very much. And now students of mathematical methods in data analysis, Zofia Ambrożewicz, Ewelina Bernard, Katarzyna Borsiak, Pola Cedzyńska, Kornelia Dołęga-Żaczek, Igor Chryniewicz, Ida Jadczak, Julia Jadczak, Jacek Kała, Bartosz Kamiński, Magdalena Karwowska, Kacper Koc, Konrad Kuprz, Maria Leszczyńska, Maria Małecka, Urszula Michalska, Kamila Mosińska, Natalia Rogalska, Julita Skorzycka, Jakub Standara, Natalia Stępień, Julia Sucińska, Przemysław Wąsik, Wioletta Wielakowska, Hubert Wołotkiewicz, Paulina Zaborowska, Izabela Zajdel and Weronika Zarzecka. Thank you very much, Professor Mohomir Vyak. Thank you. Former rector of the university. Please welcome the last uh, study program from the Faculty of Technical Physics, Information Technology and Applied Mathematics, Modeling and Data Science, Eldar Aliek Pierov, Marta Animutska, Natalia Boaszczyk, Maciej Cichoń, Daniel Derżyński, Marcel Gałczyński, Jan Gorzela, Hubert Herudziński, Piotr Imiński, Leonid Iwanow, Anna Kaczyńska, Igor Kocik, Juliusz Korc, Daria Kościanek, Maciej Krakowiak, Jakub Maciak, Patrycja Maciejewska, Julia Matejas, Tunungien, Andri Perekhoda, Stanisław Podogrodzki, Agnieszka Pytel, Ksawery Raszczak, Szymon Sobiech, Zuzanna Staśkowiak, Dawid Stecko, Bartosz Sulżycki, Anna Szymańska, Anna Talar, Jakub Tomczyk, Igor Walkowiak, Marcel Wieczorek, Nedeska Suchoralewa, Olaf Żurawski.
Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor Adam Wojciechowski. Now we would like to ask Professor Agnieszka Zakrzewska Bielawska to welcome students of the Faculty of Organization and Management. Let's welcome students from Gestion et Technology, Witold Bong, Milena Filatowa, Filip Kabaciński, Natalia Kozłowska, Zuzanna Lasota, Claude Mfitu Mukiza, Benin Szuti, Maja Pruchniak, Wiktoria Skiba, Eliza Teblin, Lena Wróblewska. And now it's time for business and technology students. Simon Alatar, Olivia Biskup, Martina Blocher, Natalia Diduch, Michał Dujczyński, Claudia Frontczak, Julia Galant, Olivier Gauka, Maja Józefacka, Marek Kaluga, Marietta Kazimierczak, Filip Konopka, Oleksandr Melnyczenko, Natalia Olszewska, Julia Pawelczyk, Michał Pawelczyk, Weronika Pośpiech, Jakub Roguski, Kornelia Różycka, Bartosz Rutowicz, Jan Remkiewicz, Zuzanna Sadok, Wiktor Sroga, Cynthia Srogosz, Wiktor Wawro, Maria Włodarczyk, Zuzanna Wojna, Marta Zabłocka, Alicja Zielińska, Stanisław Zieliński and Maja Żurawska. And now it's time for students of business studies. Veronika Antczak, Mikołaj Cieślik, Jakub Cisło, Zofia Duda, Karolina Feja, Mateusz Florczyk, Jakub Gąsieniec, Bruno Grajewski, Szymon Kaszek, Bartosz Kazanowski, Jakub Keller, Cezary Klaus, Łukasz Kowalczyk, Zofia Małachowska, Bogdan Manuilow, Julia Marciniak, Filip Marszał, Eryk Monteiro, Adam Mrozowski, Hanna Nowak, Aleksandra Płachecka, Eliza Podsiadła, Wiktoria Rajtak, Sawana Wraniec, Katarzyna Walasik, Bartłomiej Wrubel and Martyna Zielińska.
Um, let's thank the first uh, cycle students. And now it's time for the second cycle students. Master of Business Studies. Veronika Brędzej, Aleksandra Chromińska, Adrianna Cieśla, Julia Grabia, Jan Kałusowski, Sara kiciak Welkicińska, Maksymilian Kostrzewa, Rozalia Koziarska, Gabriela Kubiak, Natalia Kulikowska, Wasyl Kwiatkowski, Ewa Łątka, Zuzanna Mikołajczyk, Jan Mnich, Marcin Morawski, Weronika Muszelska, Wiktoria Oklecińska, Martyna Pawlak, Maja Perek, Joanna Pieszyńska, Weronika Podgórna, Maja Sadowska, Julia Sterczewska, Piotr Wajer, Agnieszka Wilk i Krzysztof Woźniakowski. And small representation of Master of Operations Management, Anna Bartczak, Fryderyka Gocalińska, Aleksandra Kaczorowska, Franciszek Lewera, Katarzyna Maciaszek, Wiktoria Pieczewska, Paulina Raszewska, Katarzyna Rogulska, Klaudia Strowik, Mateusz Wasik i Kinga Wojciechowska. Thank you very much, Professor Agnieszka Wekszewska Wielaska. Thank you very much, your magnificence. What hard work, but unfortunately, it's not finished. I'm really sorry. But as you, as you probably noticed, we have very special students. Yes. So, FAMI students, very special student of the Lodge University of Technology. They managed to enter the, and pass very, very competitive um, exam, entrance exam. This is French Academy for Young Engineers. So they are now students of the high schools, different large uh, um, high schools. Um, and today, I'd like to ask your magnificence, but also the representatives of the embassy, Jean-Luc Schneider, Philippe Morisset, to assist our rector in welcoming FAMI students. But before that, I'd like to take the oath of our students in French. So, maintenant, on va, voilà, uh, please stand up, sorry. Les élèves de l'Académie pour les jeunes ingénieurs, je vous prie de Levez vos mains droites, s'il vous plaît, et répétez avec moi. Je jure et promets de m'engager à étudier de manière sérieuse afin d'acquérir des connaissances et de développer mes capacités et mes compétences personnelles. Je m'engage à respecter les lois, le règlement et l'autorité de l'Université Polytechnique de Lodge. Par ma conduite, je jure de défendre l'honneur et la dignité en tant qu'étudiant de l'Académie. Merci beaucoup. Please sit down. And now I'd like to ask Magnificence Rector, Professor Jusvik, Jean-Luc Schneider, Professor Jean-Luc Schneider from French Embassy, and uh, Mr. Philippe Morisset from French Embassy, attaché for scientific cooperation and attaché for education to assist our rector in welcoming FAMI students. Magdalena Adamusiak, 
Marta Banasiak, Jakub Barylak, Kamila Ciesielska, Maciej Czapka, Kacper Drobik, Maja Dropińska, Zuzanna Dusza, Julia Krajewska, Jan Kruk, Kasia Lerman. Katarzyna Maj, Zuzanna Marynowska, Amelia Ochlanek, Jadzia Pietrzyk, Patrycja Podgórska, Antoni Podgórski, Nina Rodzik, Witold Walczak, Julia Wasiak, Hanna Wawrzonek, Magdalena Zarzycka i Marta Zauścińska. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Philippe Morisset, Jean-Luc Schneider, and your magnificence, thank you very much. I know it wasn't very easy, very hard work. Thank you so much. And now this is a great moment. I'd like to ask Rector, Professor Krzysztof Juźwik to open year, academic year at IFE. Please stand up. Sure, I have to take the microphone for my own, own use. I pronounce academic year 2022, 2023 open. Now I'd like to invite the choir of the Lodz University of Technology to perform Gaudem Mater Polonia. Please take a seat. Thank you. As I mentioned at the very beginning, this is a very, very special inauguration. We are celebrating the 30th anniversary of IFE. And from the very beginning, I 
as I told you on Monday, I was IFE student many years ago. However, when I started, I already heard about the Socrates program and I participated in it. So Erasmus Plus program and Erasmus Socrates Erasmus program was always a um, very important part of IFE educational system. So that is why we are so much proud and feel very honored and privileged to have with us today Director Professor Paweł Poszytek, Director General for, of the Foundation for the Development of the Education System, Director of Polish National Agency of the Erasmus Plus Program and the European Solidarity Corps. Professor Paweł Poszytek, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Your Magnificence, directors, deans, professors, distinguished guests and dear students. So uh, I'm really honored and privileged that I can say uh, a few words to you during this uh, wonderful uh, event and celebration, especially that has actually already been mentioned, the cooperation between the foundation of the de uh, edu development of education system, the institution that I represent, and IFE is very long. And actually, uh, the, I can see some friendly and familiar faces who can tell this uh, history and the story much better uh, than myself. Okay, but actually it's not about uh, the history today because we have a lot of uh, young people here who were not born yet when our cooperation started in the early 90s. And uh, this celebration is more about them. So. There are a lot of young people here starting their academic year, their academic career, and probably uh, you are asking some questions to yourself, like, have I made the right choice? Will I be equipped with the proper competences that will be useful on the labor market? Will I find a good job? Won't I waste the five years of my precious life? Uh, these are obviously uh, very important and fundamental questions on the personal level, but actually these are very important questions from the broader perspective. When we look at the development of societies, the development of the country, it's not only about the education, it's also about the economy. It's about education, economy, innovation, everything which contributes to the development. Okay, so, but in order to help you answer these questions, because I'm not going to answer those questions uh, for you, uh, we have to concentrate uh, for a while on the concept of the universities of the future. Now, quite a lot of researchers and also practitioners and policymakers are concentrating and writing and debating on this issue quite a lot. This is a long story, but to make it short, I promise I will be short, I know everyone is already tired, but to make it short, actually uh, the concept of university of the future is based on four pillars. So the first pillar is competences. Competences of the future are competences 4.0, because as you know, now we are in the era of the fourth industrial revolution, where all the processes are automated, artificial intelligence is, uh, is being incorporated into all the processes, not only at the factories in industry, but also in other areas of life. So, if we can say that University X or Y can boast being a university of the future, this university must develop these competences among their students in an effective way. This is again a long story about the competences. Uh, usually to make it short, uh, people from business say that, well, we need people, obviously you are being uh, educated within certain professional fields and you need those hard competences, but the, la the labor market also expects you to have 
quite well-developed so-called soft skills. This is a long story, but again, to make it short, I would concentrate on one element. It's not only digital competences, but also, first of all, uh, social competences and, uh, and cognitive competences. And again, to concentrate on one most important element, uh, like a kind of focal point, it would be communication. It's not only the communication on the basic level, I mean, while we talk to each other or when we read something, it's also about the communication in foreign languages, which you practice here in a very effective way. But it's first of all the communication within interdisciplinary group. These are the challenges of, of the present and of the future. In order to develop innovations, in order to develop new, new things, new applications, we need to be able to talk between disciplines, interdisciplinary communication. This is difficult. Um, some people say that, especially in, in many workplaces, like mine as well, that it's very difficult to, to talk to computer people. Okay, but we need to find this basic background to, to communicate through disciplines. And the next barrier would be to communicate with the machines. This again is a separate subject, uh, actually uh, devoting a separate, a separate lecture. So competences, this is one of the pillars. The second pillar, the second pillar is flexibility. The university of the future should provide the didactical offer which is flexible, which is actually co-created together with students themselves. Because now, uh, in present and in the future, it won't be possible to set in stone fi a five-year course and expect that actually the students uh, graduating from this course will be uh, very well prepared for the labor market. Everything is dynamic, so we need to, to be flexible. Actually, Professor Piotrowska mentioned some, there are a lot of different tools and solutions how to make this didactical process uh, flexible, but one of the tools and solutions uh, has already been mentioned, micro-credential. So, again, a new concept from the European Commission. So short courses uh, finished with micro-credentials and uh, helping students to make the, the offer more attractive, but it is a, also a kind of uh, offer directed to other people from outside of the university. And that leads me to the third pillar, but before I mention it, it's, it's also very uh, important to see the whole process in a broader context. So OECD and the European Commission claim uh, that the value of uh, university diploma, not only in Poland, everywhere, all over the world, and not only in Europe, is somehow losing its value. That uh, people from industry do not put so much trust into those diplomas, that they are not so sure if those diplomas represent the real qualifications and competences which they actually need in their factories, in their businesses, and on the, on the labor market. So the third pillar is the concept which is actually quite old because it comes back to the 70s, but now we are putting, well, a new light is somehow shed upon this concept. This is the concept of lifelong learning, lifelong learning simply. So one of the, so one of, uh, one of the remedies and the answers to this, uh, to this challenge and to make university very important part and integral and actually the focal point of the whole process of development and innovations is putting uh, their didactical and research activities into this broader concept of lifelong learning. So it's not only, again, it's not only uh, connected with the idea of flexibility and micro-credentials, for example, but it is also connected with, uh, with the fact that universities should go outside their uh, 
standard or regular clients and offer some courses also to people from businesses, to people from outside. Not necessarily those who have any academic background. It's just acquiring new clients. But it's not only for commercial purposes, but it's first of all to become the most focal point of the development and of innovations. So creating the, uh, the place without which businesses, for different reasons, couldn't survive. This is a big challenge, and I think that it's a big ch chance uh, for universities in the future. And actually, uh, there are quite a lot of examples, uh, quite a lot of activities happening here in which University of uh, Technology, uh, which embody all these concepts. And last but not least, it's, uh, it's the idea of networking. So uh, University of the Future should be well networked. Again, this is a long story. We could find a lot of examples how Polish, not only this university, but also Polish universities are network, and uh, which University of Technology functions within different kinds of networks, not only with other universities, but also with businesses and so on. But one thing is uh, really worth mentioning again, this is the idea of European universities. It has also already been mentioned, but for I think that because of modesty and humbleness, Professor Piotrowska hasn't mentioned a few very important aspects connected with this. Uh, so first of all, uh, let, let's come back to, uh, to, to the origins, especially that we have a lot of guests from France here, and actually also French courses are, the courses, academic courses in French are also offered here. So a few years ago, uh, President Macron, uh, during one of his speeches uh, in, at Sorbonne University, uh, announced this kind of idea of creating a common European uh, area for, for the development of uh, higher education on the basis of some kinds of elite networks of universities. They are called U European universities. Now those networks, those consortia of universities are being created. This is a new idea. So it is still, let's say, under construction. But at the end of this road, which is not going to happen in two or three years, this perspective is probably much longer, but the end of this road, what, what is expected, uh, it is expected to have a big academic organisms. So the consortia of eight, nine, 11 different universities all over Europe forming one academic body, one academic entity in order to make the not only the research, but also the academic, uh, the, the didactic offer much more flexible, much more attractive. So on a practical basis for the students like you, that means that being part of such a, such a network means the access to all the resources of all these partner universities. That means free movement between these universities, picking uh, different courses that you think are suitable for you, and so on and so on. A very uh, a big vision which is being realized. Uh, these are the beginnings, but actually it is very important to be in it. And now what hasn't been mentioned is that actually, well, in Poland we have around 400 universities. And out of these 400 universities, only 21 in Poland are part of these consortia. Obviously, each of those 21 belong to a different, uh, to a different network. And which University of Technology is, is one of those 21, of this elite group. Elite group which is actually uh, creating this new academic reality, not only in Poland, but also, and first of all, in Europe. So congratulations on this, uh, because a lot of other universities are waiting and are queuing. 
Okay, and I could give a lot of more examples, uh, but I think that sooner or later, during the course of your studies, you will find the answers to those questions that we posed uh, in the beginning. So I think that there are five exciting years in front of you. Enjoy it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, that was amazing. And thank you for recognizing all our efforts towards you know, being innovative university. Yes, I know, it's not easy. And for, you know, for your interest and for your support and just simply for being with us, all those things. Thank you. Okay, the choir is getting ready because this is a very important moment. Very important academic song. Gaudamus Igitur, please stand up. The Academic Choir of Lodz University of Technology, led by Mariusz Lewy. Thank you so much. And <laughs> Dear students, look at them. They look so beautiful. And you can join them anytime and be a part of this beautiful ensemble. Thank you so much, Mariusz Lewy. Thank you very much to the choir of Alloc University of Technology. Before the ceremony ends, I, I'd like you to, to sit down for a while because as far as you remember, yes, please. Good afternoon. My name is Kamila Szymczak and I'm from Violia Energia Wood. I would like to say some few words in behalf of General Director, Ms. Anna kędziora Szwagrzak. Szanowna Pani Dyrektor, z okazji jubileuszu 30-lecia Centrum Kształcenia Międzynarodowego Politechniki Łódzkiej w imieniu Zarządu Wyoli Energii Łódź składam serdeczne gratulacje. Dzięki szerokiej działalności IFE Politechniki Łódzkiej, której celem jest realizacja kształcenia inżynierskiego młodzieży wraz z rozwojem kompetencji językowych oraz możliwością udziału w praktykach zagranicznych, branża energetyczna otrzymuje możliwość współpracy z doskonale przygotowaną kadrą inżynieryjno-menedżerską, gotową do stawiania czoła wyzwaniom, jakie stawiane są przed sektorem produkcji i dystrybucji energii. Pracownicy naukowi, grono pedagogiczne i cały personel Centrum Kształcenia Międzynarodowego Politechniki Łódzkiej są gwarantem realizacji bardzo ambitnych celów dydaktycznych, które następnie znajdują przełożenie na rozwijanie kompetencji poszukiwanych przez pracodawców. W dniu jubileuszu 
Proszę przyjąć najlepsze życzenia, samej pozytywnej energii, satysfakcji z uzyskiwanych wyników, sukcesów osobistych i zawodowych oraz zdrowia i pomyślności. Anna Kędziora-Szwagrzak, prezes zarządu, dyrektor generalny. Now I'd like to ask Daniel Martiniak, the director of R&D Center at Forestier Company. Good afternoon. Dear all, your magnificence, dear Dorota, dear director of IFE, dear all directors, great deans, Dear professors, dear all academic staff, dear all students, it's a very special day for me because I am turning today 20. 20 since I have finished this school. And when I look at IFE, IFE is turning 30. You know it's turning 30, yeah? So it has been told so many times that it's getting bored, right? So we know that. But you don't know that when I look at the young faces, if it's not getting older at all. And it's a clear proof that you can stay young forever. Okay? But the age and being young is just not the question of number. It's not a question of your date in the certification birth. It's a question of quality of mind. And this is Ife. IFE has been, since ever, young pioneer. And this quality of mind that has daring, enthusiasm, imagination, and energy is a part of this DNA. So here, I would like to thank to all you pioneers, young pioneers, that you have started this journey. Thank you, special thanks to Dr. Tomasz Saruszwolski on the behalf of all this that have finished this school. <laughs> special thanks to Dr. Margotta Miller. Thank you. <laughs> special thanks to Professor Kosiński and to all the ones that continue this journey. Your magnificence. Krzysztof Jóźwi, thank you. <laughs> Professor Dorota Piotrowska, thank you. And to all of you that you bring up this journey, that you make it happen, that you create the momentum. And as a matter of fact, I need to say it three times because it was not enough. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, Irina. Yeah? So it's to dare 30 years ago to give lessons in foreign language. By the way, the not one that was popular, most popular Russian. And thank you to dare to give the courses in the classes that were not most well known in Poland. So we are a post communist country that was teaching business. You taught, decided to teach biotechnology. You decided to teach computer science. That needed a lot of daring, enthusiasm, imagination, and energy. Because you drive change. And pioneer drives change and goes through the struggle. And this you had to confront. You know that. So thanks again for making it and dealing with it. And the world of today, and I'm telling you it from business perspective, it needs more than ever pioneers. It needs more than ever pioneers in energy, pioneers in waste management, pioneers in data management, pioneers in the future mobility. I know this one a bit. And of course, we need also pioneers in the space industry and many others. So for all of you that you joined this community today, I wish you to become young pioneer. 
I wish you to have the quality of mind that stands for daring, enthusiasm, imagination, energy. Don't lose your time. Don't pretend that you study. Work hard. You will not change the world by pretending. And to you, if a family, I wish you to stay young. I wish you to stay young forever. I wish you to stay young forever, pioneer. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is my teammate from my first Restion Technology Group. I'm very proud of you. Thank you so much. And now I'd like to ask the representative of the Council, Honorary Council of Friends in Wuj, Ms. Alicia Bien, represented by Mr. Jakub Tomek. Thank you, Professor. Uh, Your Magnificence, uh, Honorable Deans and Rectors of the Wuj Tehin University, distinguished guests. On behalf of Honorary Consul of the Republic of France, Ms. Alicia Bien, I would like to thank you for invitation for such a special ceremony of inauguration of new academic year. Madame Consul couldn't attend today's uh, celebration, today's event, but on her behalf, I would like to express sincere congratulations on 30th anniversary of uh, International Faculty of Engineering of which University of Technology. Uh, right now, I would like to put those congratulations on the hands of His Magnificence Rector of the Łódź University of Technology, Professor Krzysztof Juźwik, and Director of International Faculty of Engineering, Professor, uh, Professor Dorota Piotrowska. Uh, I wish all students fruitful and wonderful academic year and the whole uh, team of International Faculty of Engineering great successes in the years to come. Thank you. Okay, at the very end of our ceremony, um, I would like to thank Professor Iwona Szynkowska Juźmik for simply having us here. It is so nice and you are so always open and every, every time smiling and welcoming us here. So thank you so much. Bravo. And of course, my special thanks to my favorite choir, Choir Veloce University of Technology and Mariusz Schlewe. Uh, I would like to thank Mr. Uh, Paweł Murugalski and his team for technical support. And I also like to thank my IFE team, who as always was so professional and always cooperative, always ready to you know, perform any activities I asked them to do. So thank you very much, all my IFE team who is everywhere here, always supportive and always professional.
Okay, the inauguration ceremony has ended. When the ceremony ends, I would like to invite all the guests to take a group pictures. So authorities of uh, Lodz University of Technology, so rectors, deans, uh, vice deans as well, all our guests from business, uh, all our you know, all guests from embassy, from our secondary school. So all of you are invited to take our uh, picture. Um, and yes, in the hall. And please stand up um, and stay at the places while rectors, deans, and official guests are leaving the hall. Color guard, please leave the hall.